Yeah, today we're going to talk about when to adapt programming. It's always best to have some structure, but you want to be fluid within that structure. The good thing that comes with years of experience is you kind of know, even when you fuck up, you know how to just keep moving and it just transitions from one thing to the next without much of an issue. So my programming had me slow going, right? I was doing 350 in January, 360 February, and then 370 in March and so on, 380 in April and so on and so forth. But I got weight lifting ADHD. I just can't sit my hyper ass still. So here I am at 370 after just being at 359 days ago. And I insisted on sticking with fours instead of like going back to threes or something. So today I ended up knocking out three sets of four and one set of three. And to top all this madness off, I'm doing this while I'm dropping weight. So I was 256 Monday and today 252 after some 1800 calorie days and some cardio. So I don't know if it's the best idea to go jump up at weight under these conditions, but I did it anyway. But this is no big deal. It's as long as I don't, as long as I stay around 370 and keep it this way maybe for the next four weeks, it's not a big deal, right? Body feels fresh. I could do my first sets of fours, then do the rest of three and get all my 20 something reps in and take it from there. Meanwhile, I should be able to drop my weight into the 240s slowly, just the high 240s. That way I'm not eating my way to this bench press and also, when I have to go lower in the 240s, it's not an issue. See, if you start your program in slow motion like I did, you give yourself that ability to adjust up if you have to. It's always easier with your programming for your mind to and your body if you start slow motion and adjust up if you feel like, if you feel your body's ready for it. Just don't have to be a stubborn jackass and just up as fast as I did. And not to be arrogant, cause I'm learning, so I learn shit all the time, but I forgot more than some of these young people know. Waist layer just reminded me I got chains on the floor. I know how to program those into my situation too. When you're advanced and got a lot of experience, there's just so many ways you know how to adapt things within a structure, it's not even funny. Yeah, so adapting my program up is not a big deal right now. So everything's going to work out to my satisfaction. But I'm promising myself that I'm going to stick with 370 at least four weeks. That's what I'm trying to keep. I'm going to try to keep my word on that. Now here we go. Gen X Marine, Angry Marine, he did a video where he mentioned me this week. Now in this video, he said if I competed, I'd be one of the best in the world. I was like, fuck. I went and, up, went and go look that shit up. And these are the numbers for 242 and over 50 and over. And it's like, damn, even a pause 405 will put you in the top 250. Now what that man said and me seeing this, that's just some eye-opening shit. This reminds me of Omar in the wire when he talking to Brother Mazon. And he said, this caliber, this distance, even if I miss, I can't miss. This also made me want to keep my weight in check more than anything else. Because although I never competed and never thought about competing, and I know it's a different thing, I know some of y'all getting nervous about it. Me and myself, I wouldn't get nervous about anything like this. I'd be facing life and death so many times and looking at years, decades behind bars. You don't get nervous about situations like this, Jack. But understand, I respect the game and respect the that some people do get nervous in those situations. I respect that, cause it's, I can understand the butterflies would be in their stomach. We all different, we all have different experiences. But to know that my name could be up there in the top of the world if I wanted to be, shit. That's some motivational shit, I'm telling you the truth. Ain't many chances we get in life to, to have your name up there in the top of the world in something. And believe me, I'm gonna keep this in mind when I'm playing around with my programming. Cause I'm not even being funny, but the way some of these young cats, they don't take advice from the older dudes that's been doing it. If I put my name up there, it's gonna stay up there for quite some time. Cause for one, most of them ain't gonna be able to live heavy. And for two, if they do, they're not gonna last. So thanks Gen X, Angry Marine for pointing this shit out to me. This is another lesson of when to adapt your programming when things get more serious. 
See, I don't know about some of y'all, but I always live by my own fucking standards. I came from the area where Ted R. C. D. he benched at 700, and that's the number that stuck in my head. That's around the same time Spud Webb was dunking. So I never had any limitations. I said, Spud Webb can dunk, I could dunk. And shortly after, I was only 5'10 dunking coming out to 8th grade. And Ken Lane, on, I mean, um, Ted R. C. D. in that benching, that 700 always stuck in my head. Gentlemen, when you have high ass numbers, unreal expectations, shit, that's when you end up surprising even yourself. But sometimes you gotta be brought back down to earth and just appreciate where you're at for a little bit until you get back on that mission. And that affects your programming because you gotta respect where the fuck you're at. If you're in a good place, recognize that and stop beating yourself up. There's nothing arrogant about re respecting the results of your hard work. Nothing at all. You just got to take a moment, appreciate that shit, and adjust your programming to fit it, you know, so you don't beat yourself up mentally. And in my case, I, I tend to go extreme, and I need to dial that back some. So, yeah, I'm going to try to stay at this fucking 370 and not violate my word again. That's what I'm going to try to do. Volume with these long pause lossings at 370, yeah, that's going to do me good. When you have to adapt your program, don't get nervous about it. Just go with the flow. So many ways you can go, you're going to be good. Yeah.